Hi book fans, I'm in Balia Salas, author of Foxcraft, The Taken. Being an author is both the best and the worst job, depending on which day of the week you ask me that question. Most of the time it's the best possible job. I get to enter the world of my imagination on a daily basis and really find some space in there and rummage around and come up with ideas. And I get to think of stories that I feel really excited about and then write them. What could possibly be better? But then there are days when it doesn't really work or there are deadlines and I think, oh, everything I'm writing is terrible. And those are not the best days to be writers because those are the days that you really want someone to tell you what to do and there isn't anyone to tell you. You just have to draw on your own resources. Ultimately, it always comes out for the best and it really is, on balance, pretty much the best job you could possibly think of. The inspiration behind the Foxcraft trilogy was my desire to tell the alternative story of the fox. I'd read a lot in the mythology of foxes from Japan to Europe that the fox is a con artist, a trickster, or even aligned with the devil. And even today, people considered the foxes very often to be vermin. The more I read about foxes, the more I discovered that they are passionate, loyal creatures, that they aren't just beautiful in the way that they appear, but they have lovely natures and that they pair bond often for life. I wanted to tell this story of fox, the story of fox as brave and courageous, and that's what led me to write Foxcraft. Foxcraft describes magical gifts of cunning known only to foxes. So we have, for instance, slimmering, by which a fox slows their breath and appears to turn invisible for a few beats in order to avoid detection or to catch their prey. Then we have carracking, a way in which a fox can mimic the sound of other animals. And we have wakir, the shape-shifting foxcraft, one of the most cunning foxcrafts of all. And these gifts were developed for many, many long years of foxes in order to avoid the persecution of the furless. But now Isla, our young fox in the story, is going to have to learn foxcraft for another reason, because there is a war at the heart of foxes and she is going to have to use them in order to survive. Isla really is a real fox. She has a strong, bold personality. She's playful, she's passionate, and she's courageous. And when she believes in something, she never gives up. Foxcraft the Taken. It's surprising, exciting, magical. <laughs>